Trinity hosted Bowling Green Friday night in their season opener. We pick it up in the second quarter. Rocks trailing 7-3 with the ball inside the 5. Tim Phillips carries it in for the Trinity touchdown, giving the Rocks a 10-7 lead. Bowling Green, however, in their next possession, LeVance Anderson will not go down easily. Matter of fact, he's not going to go down at all. He travels 39 yards into the end zone, and Bowling Green regains the lead at 14-10. Trinity cut it at 14-12 on a safety, and Zlatan Petrovic's still goal at the end of the half gave the Rocks the lead at 15-14. Bowling Green's first play of the second half is a quarterback keeper, and Trent Stillman's going the full 80 yards for the Bowling Green touchdown, and the Purples take a 21-15 lead early in the third quarter. Trinity, though, in their next possession, Will Stown's going to look downfield. Controversial play here. Bowling Green thought this was an incomplete pass. It doesn't matter because the referee signal, signaling completion. This would help set up our call of the week from 970 WGTK. Stein pumps once, unloads. Got He's it. Got Nathan Button in the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Trinity. Big time touchdown there, giving the Rocks back the lead. This pesky Bowling Green team's not going away. Another touchdown. Stillman to Wallace. Giving the Purples a 28-22 lead. Now to the fourth quarter. Rocks trailing 28-25. But Timmy will go 14 yards and into the end zone. Giving the Rocks a 32-28 advantage. And the defense would come up big on the next drive. Alex Cup is going to get into the backfield for the sack. Loss of six on the play. That would set up a big third and nine. Stillman's back to pass, but it's broken up by Jordan Whiting. The Rocks have put seven more points on the board. The Big T would fly over Marshall Stadium as the Rocks win it 39-28. Their first season opening win since 2004. They'll play Butler next Friday at home at 7 o'clock.